back to Diamonds and Sparkles. My name is Lina and thank you so, so much for joining me for another video. In this video, this is actually one of the videos that I enjoy the most to both do and watch from other people and that is my month in review. This month I completed so many diamond paintings and okay, I'm giving here you a little bit of a sneak peek of what it is. This is a place where I just keep track of everything. It's very amateur if you wish, but it is the first time that I do something like this. I've only been diamond painting for a small amount of time, but this month was great. I did a little bit of everything. I did budget canvases i did uh premium canvases in squares and rounds and all types of, of special drills so let's get into it at the beginning of the month i actually put some goals in here but we're going to go over them later in the video we're going to start doing all of the kits and afterwards we're going to do a little bit of a page like this one where i put everything i did and we're going to come back into the march goals to see which ones i did and which ones i didn't and we're gonna make new goals for april basically so let's begin with the first one the very first kit that i did during the month of march from start to finish because I didn't start doing only this one i had already another one going on was this one this is a mandala i got it off of timu here you can see this was the first one i did in march the 9th in 2024 and the number 14 over all the diamond paintings that i have done i started it on march the 4th and finished it the next day on the 5th it was a 24 by 24 centimeters usually this one it says a 30 by 30 but they're usually smaller the area where you put things in it's definitely way way smaller so it's a 24 by 24 it took me a time of three hours and 37 minutes it had a total of 16 colors and this one had some pretty cool kit cool drills that i had never seen before like glow in the dark glow um drills and some other special ones and and the gel drills the thing about it is that the gel drills were super, super dusty. I don't know why, but, you know, it's uh, other than having to change my wax in my potty every, like, more often. Other than that, everything was quite okay. These ones here are the ones that are glow in the dark. And the ones that are jelly-like or gel-like are these oranges and these pink. So, again, this is a um, budget kit and my first finish of the month. My second finish of the month was Tiny Hermione from the Lil Diamonds collection from Diamond Art Club. I started it on uh, March the 3rd and finished it on the 8th. Usually with this ones, I very possibly could go just from start to finish in one day or two days, but I try to space them out because uh, they're kind of like a fresh of breath air whenever I'm overwhelmed with another big kit or just if I don't want the hassle of having a huge canvas and a ton of colors. So this one, I actually did a review of this and other little diamonds that I finished. And I don't remember if it's already, I mean, it's already done and uploaded and everything, but it's scheduled. I don't think it already went up. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm a big scheduler of my videos and sometimes I move them around and I don't even remember where they go, but there's going to be a review of this and another two kits that I finished this month of little diamonds that are coming up next but this one was my second finish of march my 10th of 2024 and my 15th overall it took me five hours and five minutes this had nine colors one ab and one fairy dust now as i said this one here i'm going to show you where those special are specials are because the review that i did was not in specific of each kit it was more like the line of little diamonds kind of like my thoughts about it so here the ab's were here in this part of her dress and over here in her dress as well and the fairy dust were these little dots of specks of blue that are um scattered around they were minimal but it was cool so these had a total amount of thirteen thousand six hundred and eighty nine drills overall and i just loved every second of it I mean, the only thing I would change is for them to be bigger, to last more, but I think that would defeat the purpose of this line in particular, the little diamond ones, because that's the point of them, to be small and snack size and to be more like relaxed to work on. So they accomplish their purpose, even though I would sometimes want the purpose to be another one, but it's completely fine. So this was, again, my second finish of March. Let's go with the third one. You... 
are not going to be able to see it all in frame. I'm gonna try to zoom out a little bit more so you can see maybe a bit more details. You can see my mess in the background, even the beginning of my monitor, but, um, okay. So this, this is having, this has already a preview up. Usually I do all the premium canvases. I do specific reviews of them. I don't do reviews for budget ones, but I do with this ones. And you know, if the small ones have, this one definitely has to have one. This was my third finish of March. Oh, I need to get closer. This was my third finish of March, my 11th of 2024, my 16 overall. And this one, I started it um, in February on the 3rd of February, and I finished it in 12th of um, March. So this took me like five weeks, but there were periods where I didn't work at all in this one because... It got me a bit overwhelmed. You can go into my videos and see a more in-depth and detailed um, review. You know what? I think I'm going to try to leave here the links of, of the reviews of the ones that I do. So if you want to go and check them out. And what can I say? This took me a whooping amount of time of 73 hours and 29 minutes. This one, this one had 81 colors in total, 7 ABs, 4 fairy dust. And the total amount of drills was... What number is this? I'm sorry. I need to translate that. With big numbers, I do have to translate them in my brain for my original language. So it's um 114,929. This one actually took my time for kidding up and that was 59 minutes. And surprisingly, I thought it was going to be longer, but it had no, no, no static at all. This one also was super heavy, confetti heavy, as you can tell. And this one was the first one that I tried with the new perforated cover. Even though this was a restock, they added that one, that feature into this kit. And I loved it. Like, it was a struggle, definitely. But these are the type of canvases where you see the payoff. And it's just so satisfying. At least for me, I see the payout of this canvas in particular and I forget all of like my struggles while doing it. It was a hard one. It was the most challenging diamond painting I have ever done. And you know, I have not done many, but this one was my third of this size. I forgot to tell you actually, this was 70 by 102 centimeters. And I already have completed other two that are kind of similar in size, but this one definitely was a titanic task. But as I said, you can go ahead and click into the review that I have a specific for this one. And there you can see all my thoughts more in detail. Let's go to the next one. Next, we have a tiny Harry, of course. This one was my fourth in March my 12th of 2024 and my 17 overall. It took me five hours and 52 minutes. It has 20 colors, two ABs and one fairy dust. This one, even though it's a tiny one, was the most colorful one. It had, you know, up to 20 colors, but it's because of all the detail in the background. I think if it had had like detail like the other ones, it would be only like one, two, maybe top three colors in the background and then Harry, but it had definitely more than that. And it's completely fine. It's, it, the image is still very simple and very fun to work with. Um, this one and the next one actually are the three that I review in my channel. This one also had 13,689 colors. I started it on March the 13th and here I made a mistake and I finished it on March the 17th. So it took me four days. It's a very small one, like only 32 by 32.8 centimeters. It's in brown shape and it's adorable, completely adorable. The only thing that I noticed was that in this light color in the background, some of the drills, like not many, of course, but some of the drills had a very weird stain. It was not like a wash of color stain. It was like a very specific stain, like just a dot of a very, very bright brown. If a bright brown exists, I don't know. It was weird, but but I didn't go out of drills. As I said, there were only a very, very small amount of them. It was just something that I noticed. Other than that... This was just a blast. I actually originally had kitted up three of these ones, of the little ones, and this was not contemplated even. But then after I finished the Hermione one and I knew that I wanted to do another tiny one, Harry was calling my name. So I had to kit him up and do him instead of the other one that I had already kitted up, which was Luna, I believe. So a joy to work on. Let's go over to the next one. 
another tiny. Here we have a tiny Draco. Look at his little smirk. I just love him so, so much. But this one was my fifth finish of the month, my 13th of 2024, and my 18th overall. This took me five hours and 30 minutes. It had 40 colors, 40, 14 colors <laughs> with two peridots. It had no ABs at all. And that was surprising. The same amount of drills of the other mini because it's exact same dimensions of 32.8 by 32.8 centimeters. I started it on um, the 19th and finished it on the 24th. As I say, I usually just drag them a little bit out. What I usually do is I section this in six um, because I, since they're very simple images, I can section big, big places and not have many changes of color. And what I would do would be like maybe one day I do half of the image and then leave it for a few days and then do the other half. Or sometimes I took, I take um like two, like from half, I take two thirds of the half and then another two thirds and then another, well, two sixths and then two, another two. And that's just how I make them last a little bit longer because definitely this would be something that I could finish in a day without a problem. With this, the only thing that I wish were different, like two things. One is that I wish it had more special drills. The only special drills that it had were this a little bit in the scarf here in the kind of crest and in his wand and that that was it it was surprising actually but that's i would only i would like i would have liked to, to maybe have more detail in the background now i thought i was going to like like the checkerboard um background but i didn't i found it kind of tedious to be honest even more tedious than the color blocking solid color color blocking i don't know why don't even try to ask me because i do not know why but other than that, I just loved working on him. He was It was so fun, like his little smirk and his eyebrows, like, oh, I'm a, bike. I'm a bad guy, even though he's just a sweetie. But this one was my fifth finish of March. Let's go over to the next one. And don't worry, we're almost in the finish line. Here I tried to zoom out a little bit so you were able to see more of the image, but I'm going to have very, very soon a post review of this canvas in particular. Long story short, I loved it, but let's go over the details. This was my sixth finish of March, and my 14th finish of 2024, and my 19th finish overall. It took me 27 hours and 42 minutes to finish. It had a total of 62 colors, four APs, and two fairy dust. I started it on the 14th of March and finished it on the 20th of April, which is not true. I don't know why I put a four here. This is March, this is March. Let me fix it up right away because yeah, I don't, I don't know why I didn't notice this before, but we're obviously on April 1st. So I, of course, didn't finish it on, yeah, whatever. <laughs> this one had a measurement of 50.7 by 76 centimeters and a total amount of drills of 49,051, I think. Now, this one was such a beautiful, beautiful piece. The colors, I didn't expect it to be so many neons. I think at first glance, you don't notice it. But once you are closed up into the image and placing specific drills, you can definitely see that there are beautiful, beautiful neons in this image. As I said, I'm going to have a entire pose review of this, telling you all of the things that I liked and all of the details that I loved and every little nook and cranny that is in this image in particular. Now, after finish the, after finishing this one on the 28th, I didn't want it to, one, I the ones that I had, or I don't have a big stash, so I just order as I make them. And the ones that I had ordered, I thought they were going to arrive on the 27th, a day before I finished this. And I was like, oh, that's perfect. I'm just going to finish this and start a new one. But here those days are holidays that weekend is a large weekend so i was not able to get them and the only thing that i had available to work on during the last days of march were budget kits so i said well budget kits and some of the little diamond ones of harry potter that i still have remaining but i didn't want to work on those i wanted to i want to space them out a little bit more to last them to la make to make them last to make them last more time. So I said, okay, let's go over to a budget one and do it slowly and, you know, tr in tranquility. And those actual last days, I didn't work that much on diamond painting because I didn't want to do 
like two budget canvases because those budget canvases are very very quick to work on so I know that I can finish one a day and that's not what I wanted to do because I had three days left of the month so I just spaced myself out and here it comes and here is the last salmon painting that I did during the month of March this one I actually received it on the 27th along with a lot a lot of budget diamond paintings from Timu and this one I just loved it when I got it I loved it it still it still has some creases because I didn't leave leave it enough time to flatten out but still it was not a problem they it was basically all um diamonds in this one and what I do is that I take the image out of the site and I print it so I can have a sticker as well here the original size is 30 by 40 centimeters which is not true it is actually 24 by 34 centimeters this is when I started it on the 29th and finished it on the, on the 31st it took me six hours and 24 minutes because this is actually a bit larger than the regular ones that I get that are budget they're usually like more square and 10 centimeters less and yeah this one had a lot of drills this had um this had 14 colors all of them are special of course because they're crystals and special shapes and all of that and uh, drills oh no i do not count the drills in this ones because it would drive me crazy i i think i could figure out a way to try to do it like at least get an, a what not accurate ish number but i'm not gonna do it I'm not into all that. And this was my se seventh diamond painting in March, my 15th in 2024, and my 20th overall. And this was just a great way <laughs> to finish the month. And today, that is April 1st, I just went and grabbed my two new diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club. I'm going to be recording an entire... Um, unboxing of them and kidding up and all of that so i'm really really excited right now the only thing that we have left to do for the month of march is to go over my goals and establish some new goals and see what we manage to do during the month so we come here to look at the march goals a little bit more of a close down onto it and i had four main goals which, oh, I already spoiled it, <laughs> but well, the first goal that we had was to work for 100 hours. This is just an arbitrary number that I thought about and that I thought it might be possible, but March is not the month for that because as you can see right here, the amount of hours that I worked on was only 86 and 20 minutes. So that was due to a few days, the last two weeks of the month where my health was not the best and I could just, as you can see, I was, there were days where I just would diamond paint for 20 minutes tops, just like a little teeny tiny section, maybe just a color. And that's basically the reason for that. But it's totally fine. I didn't reach that goal, but it's not the end of the world. It's just an arbitrary number that I set for myself more like as a challenge to someday achieve it see if i can someday achieve it basically the next goal was to finish two budget kits at the time that i started march i had only two budget kits left in my little teeny tiny stash and that was actually this one and another one of a cat that was in my in a haul that i made of diamond kits budget diamond kits and i started working on that actually i kind of finished i would say like 40 percent of it but it had images of cats but the combination of colors that was doing the cat, I, it was insane. It was just like green and blue. And it's not like, no. And the original image of that was a black cat. So it made no sense in my head. It was making no sense whatsoever, like the entire image. So I just said, you know what? I am not going to be taking my time with this one. It is not worth it. So I tossed it. But then at the end of the month, I got 11 new diamond paintings that are going to see soon in a haul from Timu and that was the actual last that I did another budget diamond painting that I got a few days before the end of the month so that goal was completed finished two budget kits amazing yay round of applause my next one was to make progress on flower delivery by the time that I started March flower delivery was only on 55 percent ish but once I finished the next row it was just a go all in kind of thing. I finished it 
like the, the remaining of the 45% ish of it in just the first, I think 12 or 13 days. Let, let me see. I think it was a 12th. Yeah, on the 12th. So that was, I did not only make progress, but I actually finished the diamond painting, which was not a goal to finish it, but I did it. Yay, another round of applause. And my the last goal that I put to myself was to finish at least one of the little diamond kits. And I not finished one. I finished one, two, and three. So that goal was more than achieved. And I just loved it so, so much. Now let's go over to April, well, to March, to what I actually did in March regarding numbers. I finished, this is just for tracking, by the way. I finished seven diamond paintings. I placed 205,047 plus the ones from the budget kits, at least the ones that are not in, um, in a grid specifically. Now, these reels, I am taking into consideration uh, the first half of the ones of my of the current whips in March so it's more like the total amount of that um it just is working that way I'm not going to count like the drills I'm going to count the drills until I finish the diamond painting once I put that put it here in my little journal but the time I'm just doing daily regardless of if I finish or not the piece that goes into the hours that I worked which for this month was 86 with 20 minutes amazing now, this I put here also the least amount of time that I worked and the most amount of time that I worked on diamond painting during the month. And the least one was 12 minutes and that was on the 24th. And the most time was 6 hours and 17 minutes and that was on the 3rd. 6 hours and 17 minutes. That is my record so far. I think the... No, that's a lie. I'm seeing here the record of... My record was 6 hours and 33 minutes and that was on January 4th. And I have it here because I write down everything in like a calendar spread kind of thing. So that's my record. 6 hours and 33 minutes. Imagine if I could one day maybe work like 12 hours or something like in a day. Hmm, that could be a cool challenge. I'm going to make that a challenge, but only in my mind, not in written form. So it's not official, you know, and see if I can make it. Um, and if and if I get close to it, I'm going to make it a specific definite challenge for May. If I remember, if I not, it's fine because I might forget by the time March comes. So let's go. And I have no whips going on right now, like none at all. I have 10 more budget diamond painting kits, but... Today, I as I, I think I already said it, I want to pick up two new diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club. So I'm going to work on that. I'm going to be starting, well, I have to unbox it and kit up and then start working on it. But I'm going to start today. Even if I just work for like an hour, I'm going to start today. That's a given. Now let's go over to my April goals. I wrote April really ugly. I'm sorry. But my April goals, the first one is the 100 hours it is just a very like it's it's just a challenge kind of as i said i had never achieved that in the first and in, in what is right now um going on the month but it's fine it's absolutely fine my goal number two is work on two budget kits i really enjoy those ones especially the ones that are mandalas and with crystal drills and that's basically all the budget kits that I have left now. I mean, the ones, the new ones that I ordered from Timo are all that type of uh, kits. I'm going to upload that video hopefully sooner rather than later, but it's coming very soon. Now, my goal number three is I want to post at least one extra video for the month of April uh, per week. I already have a schedule of... Monday and Wednesday are like regular videos. I am going to start posting on Fridays. Um, my one thing that I am trying to see if I convert it into a series, like what would I get Friday? Like out of the new kits that are coming that week in Diamond Art Club, go through all of the ones that are going to be released and see how high is the probability of me um make it an instant buy or wish listed or just not interested or you know in some arbitrary category that exists in my mind because that is all personal preference of course so that's an extra one i am going to maybe post a second video like a, a general video on friday 
And then on Saturday, do my whipping chats. And on Sunday, do my ASMR videos. Now, that's two videos extra a week instead of just one. But no, that's three extra or two or what? I don't know. I want to post at least one extra video every week. We'll see what happens. Um, goal number four, and that is... Here is already a kind of sneak peek into my next unboxing. These are my new diamond paintings, Ghost Cafe and Primrose. And I want to complete at least 80% of one of those. I am still not 100% sure of which one I want to begin. I am leaning towards Primrose because that has been in my eyesight since I started Diamond Painting, since I discovered Diamond Art Club. I've wanted it for such a long time, so I think that's going to be my aim. 80%, um, as I said, I think it's very, very doable. I have a lot of time in my hands. I am highly likely going to finish it, but I don't want to pressure myself into, you have to finish it. But the odds are in my favor this time. So yeah, these are my all of the goals that I have for April. The hours, the budget kits, the extra video a week, and the percentage completion of one. I wanted to participate in some events, but I am not very good at keeping up with events. And since I just buy as I make them, I don't have a stash, like a big stash. I only have my budget ones um, as a stash, if you can call them that. I don't want to pressure myself in having to buy a specific diamond painting just because um just because of the event i want to go with the flow and i want to go with what i feel i want to work on so for now i think i'm gonna stay out of events for now i'm not saying no to them um completely so finishing up with my april goals and the overview of my month of march this is it for today's video i really hope you enjoy watching this because as i said this is definitely one of the videos that i watch um that i enjoy watching the most so thank you so so much for watching let me know down below how did you do if you make goals for yourself or if you just diamond paint and let your diamond paintings take you to whatever place they might <laughs> Thank you again so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and see you later. Don't forget to keep on diamond painting. Bye-bye.